All right, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about creating that perfect bowling swing for more power, more accuracy, more score, all that good stuff. Stay tuned. All right, so we're talking about the swing, and in order to get the swing in a position to actually create more power, we have to talk about that slot window that we like to call it, um, that the ball actually goes through, what we like to call the ball path. So Kyle, when uh, we first talk about this thing, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Yeah, we're gonna talk about three things to creating this swing window, and a lot of it's at the setup, because if we, if we are messing up at the setup, it's gonna be hard to really get that ball in the right slot at the end. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're creating this, so the first two steps are crucial. Are, are huge. Into getting the placement right. Yeah, so Brad, stand right here for me. This is the first thing we're gonna talk about. First thing is gonna be his body position, and we call this spine tilt. Now. What we want to happen is Brad to have just a touch of side spine tilt, maybe even drop in this right shoulder a little bit. The reason is, is because, scoot back for me a little bit. So when we take this step, take the first step, obviously nothing moves. When we take the second step, and if he's standing straight up, yeah, his hip and body, so when we go to push away, we want the ball to drop under his head. Well, if he's standing straight up and he drops the ball, you can see how the ball is to his side, and his head is right over his body. We don't want that. When we go, when we push away, we want that push that ball to be right under our head. So in order to do it, we have to create some side spine tilt. So now when he pushes away, that ball is a lot closer to under your head as opposed to standing straight up. And when we release the ball, we also want the ball to be under our head. So that's kind of why this helps because it's also the ending position as well. Yeah, you watch pretty much any great bowler and this yeah. is how this is how we come up with yeah. everything. We watch all the best and we go, oh, they all do that, right? So every great bowler, when they push away, that ball is dead under their head. Yep. So now step two, we're remembering this. So come back for me here. In our starting position, now we realize that we gotta get a little bit of side spine tilt going on, a little bit of lean to whatever your bowling uh, shoulder side is. Lefty, reverse it for us. Second thing is gonna be the crossover step. Now this, these two go hand in hand. Now we're gonna take that first step, nothing moves. We want the crossover step to go right in front of the other step. What this does is this gets this dang hip out of the way. Now Brad has a slot to throw it in. If we- Starting from my chin. Like it's, it's all with the head and the hand yeah. too. It's like this whole slot. If the head's over here, there's, it's hard to, see that slot. Yeah, your ball is disconnected from your head if you're standing yeah. straight up here. Now, with the crossover step, this is probably the biggest mistake that we see amateurs make. So come back on that step, come back on that step for me. So you take the first, or let's scoot back so we make sure we get in there. Take the first step. First step. So the biggest mistake we see is people go to the right here. Now look what happens. When, if Brad was pushing the ball away, that hip is now in the way. I can't even stand bounce. No, exactly. It probably feels so <laughs> alienated. So now if we, people step to the right and now this hip's in the way, well, what happens now is the swing has got to bump somewhere here. It can't just go straight back and straight forward. That is why we push a little bit of a crossover step so hard. Yeah, and if, uh, if, the, if the foot goes to the right, the push away has to go to the right. And when the push away goes mega to the right, then it's gonna tuck behind the body and then your angles are just, it's gonna be hard to be accurate. Yeah, your alignment is gonna get completely thrown off. So the first two tips, let's throw it back a little bit. Just a little Look. side spine tilt. Yep, we take the first step, nothing moves, and then he's gonna create that crossover step. Now he has this window here, the ball's right under his head, and he, he has so much space there. But if you don't do those two things, you're not gonna have that room to operate and you're not gonna be in line. All right, just for fun, we're gonna demonstrate, Brad's gonna demonstrate a proper crossover step was just what he normally does and a bad crossover step to the right. Now, I'm really interested to see how this works out. So let's do the bad crossover step. Now, Brad is gonna step straight, but on his, his second step, he's gonna bump to the right and this is gonna feel terrible. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, bad. I can already <laughs> see what's gonna happen. But but... Let's just see what happens here. I mean, 
Strike. Hey, nine's not bad. Nah, it's awful. I mean, it's just the the foot goes right, but the ball goes left on the next step, or it feels like it goes left behind you, and there's just all this weirdness going on. Yeah, there's no alignment. You're not balanced, and there's just it's really hard to be accurate and repeat shots that Very way. Much. Now let's just throw a regular shot here. Let's get back to normal for you, so you're not you're not feeling awful. And now this is Brad. Just has Brad doesn't cross over too much. It's pretty straight, but there is a little bit of a crossover there. There you go. Yeah, and you can just your and feet I, are under you. Stay balanced there. That looked great. And actually, sometimes I think I I could get a little bit more of a crossover. I think I get a little bit in front of me with this step. Just something minor. And to be honest, this whole thing is like a, a pretty minor adjustment, right? I mean, we're, we're talking about small spaces with our feet and with our with our body. So um, when I, you know, this is probably something that I need to work on, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so now the third tip. Now the third tip, we have the side spine tilt, we have the crossover step. The third thing, once we have those two things dialed in, is gonna be just making sure we are pushing away straight. So when we have that little side spine tilt, we're crossed over. We just want to make sure that we're, and we're really not pushing away, and that's going to be another video, but we're really just making sure that ball falls in this slot. We don't want to push away to the right, and we don't want to push away. We create this slot. Let's use it now and just let that ball fall in. So it's going to look something along, boom, boom. And now that ball just fell right into that slot there. Yeah, so obviously this is like a, a game of misses, right? So if we're looking about how we can minimize all of our misses, the, the first thing you can do is help your swing by getting just a little bit of that and this. But there's, there is margin for people to do a little bit different thing and to be individual. For example, I took a lesson with Kelly Kulik one time and she... Uh, just requested that I had my starting position uh, bumped out just a hair because my swing was getting a little loopy or, or whatever and uh, this actually helped me straighten my swing and play straight uh, better that day. Uh, we see pros if they wanna if they wanna have big loopy angles they'll push away a little bit to the left um, so it's okay to be to not be directly straight in line the whole time. There is a little bit of margin of error. But my point is that this is a game of misses. So you want everything to almost be in line as much as possible for most of the time. And then when you need certain angles or you need to do something different, then you can use that margin that allows you to change some things. But for the most part, you want everything to be in there from the get the into the swing slot from the get go. Yeah, I think what you just said, game of misses. We're trying to make our you know we're all going to throw good shots, but our we want our misses to be better. And if everything is in line and we're creating that window from the beginning, then there's less that's going to go wrong at the end, and our misses just aren't going to be as bad. But if we're really pushing out to the right or left, that's hard to repeat. Things aren't in line, and you're going to get really errant shots as a result. All right, there you have it, guys tips on how to create a better swing, create that swing, swing window. These are pretty easy things to work on. Now, one thing I do want to say real quick, if you are an older bowler watching this and you're trying to do the crossover step, I actually had an older gentleman go come up to me. He's like, Kyle, I'm 67 years old. I can't get my step in front of me. You know, it just feels too unbalanced. I don't think you're right. And he's right. If you're old, if you're older and you're not as balanced, you're not in shape, you know, it, it's just nature, right? It's okay to just have that step go a little straighter. At the end of the day, we don't want to put people in a position no. to be completely uncomfortable. So it's okay for that step to be straight. Well, I will say though, is that we just, even if you're older, because I've seen a lot of older bowlers still be able to do this, we just can't get that step to go right. So if you're like, if you're like Brandon Kyle, I can't get my step to be crossed over, that's okay. As long as it's straighter, that's all right, but just don't let it go to the right. As long as we're doing what we can just to help everything, because when you actually get the ball into the correct slot and all of a sudden you just have a little bit more effortless power and you can hit it harder and you feel comfortable being more aggressive and that it actually kind of turns into strikes and pin action and like all these cool things happen when you actually get in the slot. So do whatever you can, uh, but you'll feel it once you get the ball into the correct slot. And uh, hey, thank you guys for watching the video. BradandKyle.com for merch. Uh, if you're interested in getting better, DM us on all social media platforms. We will hook you up.
hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you later.